I fixed up the Fairbanks Ward. Um, I haven't found much information on this machine yet. It says Deluxe So Easy made Japan. Uh, I rewired it. All the wires were disintegrating. So I got the, the little box. I managed to get the cover off. I had a gold lamp cord with a pre-made end. So that's just plugged another power strip down there. New belt. Um, went through the motor. Cleaned up the brushes. New cord. You can see it sticking out the bottom there. Uh, lubricated it all. Uh, little bobbin winder. Works perfectly. Now I found the tire for it. So I got that. The Ford reverse stitch length works perfectly. Super sweet. You can shift it while it's running. I got oil all over it right now. It was uh, pretty jammed up, just gummed up with old oil. Uh, so I had to wash it off. There's the old thread guide. It's still on there. <laughs> cool. Um, there you go. Focus. It's weird to focus. But everything's, ah, everything's fixed up. Ready to rock. This box is homemade. Um... It's got wallpaper on it. I'm going to re-wallpaper it because it's coming off. It's pretty rough. The box actually fits a little rough. Um, it needs some support on the front here. That's why it shimmies around so much. And it can use some rubber feet. So I'm going to go through and do that. I think I'm going to keep this one for myself. It's a little moldy. You know, this is the heaviest one. It weighs more than that one. And it weighs more than the oldest one. This one's 40s. This one's 60s. This one, I can't tell, but I think it's... 60s as well this particular dude is super heavy though um i have to put it on the scale but I'm, I'm guessing about 30 pounds the box doesn't weigh shit um it's pretty basic but it's got a nice like vinyl stripe down it and it's just ugly it's really in bad shape but definitely homemade uh it's the only one that has a box like this all the other boxes are way different and uh this is on a little piece of wood it's just kind of laid in there but yeah, everything else about it's just fine. I gotta figure out the the different controls. This is zero, one, two, three, and clicks. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, they, that's the height of the feet. It's higher up. Put her down. Okay, I figured that out. So that's the height of the treadle, the little foot thing. This adjusts these, uh, see, this adjusts these little limits. So you can eh, turn that and, like, you can lock it in position. Or say you only want to go that far forward, not far back. It, it makes it equal. Um, or you can open them up all the way and lock them down. So now you got full movement. This thing will make a pretty long stitch from what I can see. I don't, I don't know what this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 corresponds to. It seems to be nothing at zero. It just sits. So you can sit at zero and lock your thread in. Uh, yeah, neat old machine, though. I need to figure out some more info on it, see what where, what exactly is, where it came from. I mean, Ward, I'm assuming Montgomery Wards before it was Montgomery Wards. But I got to do some more research. Anyways, cool.